Hi, Louise. How did that go? Hello. It was it was really interesting, actually. Easy, difficult. It wasn't difficult. It was easier than I thought. And, and with such a small dog as Lola, you've got to be right down there on the ground, I, haven't you? I was pretty much on the grass, so. Yeah. And so, if you can do it with Lola. Uh, you can imagine that a bigger dog is that much easier. Absolutely. It was, know? I just literally, she crouched down and I popped yeah. the pot underneath yeah. and collected yeah. as and much as I And although, you know, here we've got a, a specific specimen sample, you could use anything. You could use a jam jar. You could use a mug if you really yeah, wanted that, to. That but, was... But this was perfect. Yeah. And, so on. and obviously with a cat, it's even easier because with a cat, you can use special cat litter to collect their urine. Okay. So you don't have to sort of follow them around. Yeah, she's the size of a cat, but we have no litter, so okay. we, we were following. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to test this urine using right. a, a little dipstick thing that looks for the glucose in the urine. And the dipstick here you can see is blue, and if there is no glucose, it stays blue, but the more glucose there is, the browner it becomes. Right, yeah? okay. And it's a really simple test that people can do at home to check that the urine is clear from any sugars. So, okay, we'll, so we'll pop this in, fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed. So we put that in there, and then we come up here, and I read it, and I'm going to let you know later.